Another part that I also enjoy is that it would work very well as well in a small village as it would in a city because in a city you have more complex requirements. The marketplace works just as well there. Um, or, well, that's where you'd kind of want to stress test it in these very complex city environments. But when you get to a village, it's actually to the point where it, it could be useful just to be able to call up your, you know, you know who it is. It's Joe. You want Joe to pick you, pick you up and you press Joe and Joe then knows where you are straight away. And all that software is available to a tiny little town without having to, you know, them to spend a fortune to get you know there's a lot of places that don't, aren't covered by these really fancy ride sharing services that could kind of use them so we have that wonderful extension of the technology into nooks and crannies that everyone's forgotten about and i would probably guess that a lot of the world lives in those nooks and crannies um, that's and fantastic so the village and the sort of rural country now the way places they'll have access to the same network and with all its complexity and all its potential and variables as people are using in the city. It will be the same infrastructure they're able to build on. All the power, all the technology, all the work, all the design, all the manufacturing and engineering that went into the hyper, hyper stressful city environment would be available if needed to tiny little villages in the middle of nowhere with like 200 people and they just want to call their mate and tell them, come pick me up, here I am. And uh, so again, this, and this network that's created is just being sort of developed, I guess over time it's being improved upon by the community.